Hello everyone. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we will learn the difference between the tensor flow and NumPy array. These are the topics we are going to cover. First we will discuss the difference between tensor flow and NumPy and then we will discuss the conversion of tensor into a NumPy array. We will discuss how to convert a NumPy array to tensor. And next we will discuss how to convert a tensor to NumPy array by using eager execution function. So in the end we will discuss how to convert a tensor to NumPy by using sparse tensor. So first we will discuss the main difference between the TensorFlow and NumPy array. TensorFlow is a library that is used in machine learning and it is an open source library for numerical computations. While in the case of NumPy array, it is also an open source library for data analysis in Python and it is one of the most used scientific libraries to handle multidimensional array object with a lot of useful and convenient methods. In tensors, there are multidimensional array and to perform some operations on tensor, we are going to use the tf.constant function and as well as tf dot variable function and tf dot placeholder function. So while in the case of numpy array, we are going to use the np dot sum function as well as np dot difference function for basic operations and it will always return as n dimensional array. Basically TensorFlow is used for developing machine learning applications and this library was first created by the Google Brain team and it is the most common and successful used library that provides various tools for machine learning application. NumPy is also used for developing machine learning applications. In the case of tensor, you can easily convert the tensor into a NumPy array by using tensor.numpy function. While in the case, if you want to convert the NumPy array to tensor, you will use tf.convert to tensor method. In case, if you want to uh, get the slices in this then you can use the colon operator while in the case of numpy array you can do indexing to use numpy.where function or a slicing method so in case of tensorflow if you want to get the new shape of a tensor you can use the tf.reshape function while in the case of numpy you are going to use the numpy.reshape function now i am going to discuss the example Let's take an example and we will see the difference between the NumPy array and tensor in TensorFlow. So here is the example. First we have imported the TensorFlow library with the Eli's name tf and then created a tensor by using tf.constant function. And within this function we have assigned the integer values as an argument. For display the content we are going to use the print statement and within this parenthesis we have assigned the tensor and named as tensor underscore value. So after that we will see the difference between tensor and a numpy array. For this I am going to use the numpy library with the Eli's name np. After that for creating an array I have used the np.array function and within this function I have assigned the integer values as same as we have assigned in case of tensor. So for displaying this result I have also used in numpy print statement and within this parenthesis I have assigned the array name that is new underscore value. Now I am going to execute this code as you can see that the output it displays the creation of input tensor as well as creation of input arrays. In case of creation input tensor, it displays the tf.tensor and assign the values we have inserted in the input array along with the shape. That means how many elements are available in tensor that is 5 along with the data type that is int 32. So in case of creation of input array, it displays the list. Now moving forward, we will discuss how to convert the tensor into a numpy array. For this, I am going to use two methods. The first method is even method and the second one is dot numpy method. Now for this, I am going to take an example and check how to convert the tensor into a numpy array. Here is the example. In this example, I have used the tf.compact.v1.session module. So basically in TensorFlow 1.x version, we have used the tf.session but in this 
case i have used the tensorflow 2.0 version in this case tf dot session module has been removed and instead of that i have used the tf dot compact dot v1 dot session for running the session now to convert the tensor into a numpy array first we will import the eager execution function along with the tensorflow library next we will create a constant values by using tf dot constant function and then we are going to run the session by using syntax session equal to tf dot compact dot v1 dot session now i am going to execute this code as you can see that the tensor which we have assigned as an input tensor is now converted into an array this is basically for using a dot evil method now we will discuss how to convert the numpy into a tensor for this i am going to use the tf dot convert underscore to underscore tensor function and which is used to convert a numpy array into a tensor so here is the syntax of tf dot convert underscore to underscore tensor and within this parenthesis we are going to use only two main parameters the first one is value and the second one is d type parameter now let us take an example and understand the working of tf dot convert underscore to underscore tensor function so here is the example in this example we will convert the array into a tensor for this i am going to use the tensorflow library with the elice name tf after that i am going to use the numpy library with the elice name np so for creating an array i have used np dot array function and within this function i have assigned the integer values as an argument so now to convert an array into a tensor i have used the tf dot convert underscore to underscore tensor and within this i have assigned the input array as an argument so after executing this code the output comes tf dot tensor in the form of tensor along with the shape that is 2 comma 2 which means number of rows and number of columns along with the data type that is int 32 now we will discuss how to convert a tensor to numpy by using eager execution function first we will discuss what is eager execution basically this function will create a session and help the user to convert the tensor values into a numpy array for this i am going to take an example and understand how to convert the tensor into a numpy array to here in this example we have created a session and for this i have used the syntax session equals to tf dot compact dot v1 dot session and it will help the user to convert the tensor values into a numpy value but first we have imported the tf dot compact dot v1 dot disable eager execution function then we will create a tensor by using tf dot constant function and within this we have assigned the values now i am going to execute this code and as you can see that tensor the input tensor is converted into an array now we will discuss our last topic that is tensorflow sparse tensor to numpy so basically in this we will convert the sparse tensor to numpy array in tensorflow so in python sparse tensor stores lots of zero elements and contain the zero values in tensor we have to store them in a storage manner and this method is used when we are working natural language processing now i am going to take an example in this example i have created a session that is tf.compact.v1.session for this i am going to import it the tf.compact.disable eager execution function and for converting the tens sparse tensor into an array i have used the tf.sparse tensor and within this i have assigned the integer values as an argument now i am going to execute this code as you can see it displays it converting into an array along with the dense shape that is 3 comma 4 number of rows and columns along with the data type that is int 64 with this we have completed the difference between the tensorflow and numpy also we have covered the conversion of tensor into a numpy array and numpy array into tensor so if you like this video please subscribe to our channel thank you so much